Alan and Fred is the Dixon Manana. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jim. Please confirm to the Senate your professional background. I'm a lawyer by profession and an advocate of the High Court. Practicing with which firm? I stopped practicing when I joined the county government. In which firm were you practicing before you stopped? OMK Advocates. Who was your partner in that law firm? There was Isaac Kazungu. Mm -hmm. There was uh, Dr. Okubasu. That was our colleague who just examined you a while ago, right? Yes. As a learning man, we can take it you're fairly familiar with the laws of Kenya, right? Yes. I want us, before we go to those laws, who is the accounting officer in the office of the governor? Either the chief officer. Either the chief officer. Under the office of the governor or the chief of staff. But as a matter of fact, who is the designated accounting officer for the office of the governor of Meru County? It's the chief officer, apparently. His name? Her name is Naomi. Okay. You will agree that would ordinarily be the person testifying to accusations of embezzlement of funds, not you who heads a different department. Wouldn't you agree to that, sir? Uh, uh, <coughs> it, it, it depends. Um, who ordinarily, sir? You're a lawyer. Let's, let's make it easy. Who, who, as a matter of law and fact, and ideally should be responding to the allegations about the basement of funds. Is it you or the accounting officer? The accounting officer. Good. Does the Meru County government have a CEC for finance? It does. What is her name? CP Monica Cardano. Monica Cardano. Yes. You will agree with me, even if we were to take it, that there is no accounting officer, that would be the next person in line that would be better placed to tell the Senate about misappropriation of funds, correct or incorrect? In assumption, yes, correct. I put it to you, sir, that the reason none of these officers has been called as a witness is because they know from their professional background they cannot defend their allegations before the Senate. That is not true. The reason is because many of the allegations that have been made here are on employment and we could not bring every employee of the county to no, answer no, no. to this are We are with the allegation of embezzlement of funds. I put it to you, sir. But the reason the governor has not called either of these two officers to defend the irregularities on these IFMIs is because those officers cannot, as professionals in that line, defend the content of these IFMIs, the irregularities on it. That is not true. That is not true. You just told the Senate that... That's uh, Mudami. Yes. Uh, just a little bit housekeeping. How much time do you need for purposes of cross-examination? Mr. Speaker, I see myself uh, taking at least an hour with this witness, which I'll be sharing with my learning friend, uh, Mr. Boniface Marera, and time permitting with Mr. Mary Maranya. Mr. Speaker, one hour might be too much. It's my, my, my challenge, Mr. Speaker, is you note of all the affidavits filed by the governor, okay, sir. Okay, sir. the bulk of the governor's defense is in this witness's affidavit. He speaks to very many things, the length of his affidavit, clear.
severely concerns it. That is the only reason we beseech you to grant us at least an hour. Very well. We, we are going to give you 30 minutes. We take a break for lunch. Then you resume and work within that time. Much obliged, Mr. Speaker. Proceed. Mr. Dixon Monene, it is your testimony before the Senate that the